Hi everybody, it's Disney Queen Skelly here, and welcome to another Disney Theories Explored. So, Tade's Disney Theory is one that I found surprising because I had never heard of it, and I was so excited to actually dig down deep into this and figure out why the hell someone would create this theory. So this theory is called Wheezy from Toy Story 2 was secretly a villain. Like what? Like the most innocent, one of the most innocent characters in Toy Story is a villain. Really? I found that a little hard to believe. But I have written down obviously what I have found on it and I wanted to share it with you guys of course. So let's dive down deep into this theory and we'll see what comes out the other end. Wheezy from Toy Story 2 was secretly a villain. Wheezy the penguin who Woody saves at the beginning of the movie seems like a sweet guy, but is he really? According to one theory, Wheezy forgotten on a shelf probably became jealous watching Andy play with Woody, Buzz, and the gang all the time. So when it came time for the yard sale, Wheezy wasn't even trying to save himself and knew Woody would attempt to rescue him possibly getting sold in the process, which is exactly what happened. With Woody out of the picture, Wheezy would have a better chance of getting attention from Andy. Plus, remember when Wheezy didn't say anything when Woody fell off of Buster the dog? He did nothing to save his quote-unquote friend after his friend saved him. In Toy Story 2, villains Stinky Pete, Al the Toy Collector, and Emperor Zerg all had their agendas. But what if they weren't the only characters with something sinister up their sleeves? No, we're not talking about Woody or Buzz. We're talking about the sweet, innocent penguin, Wheezy, whom Woody saved from the yard sale of Doom. What if Wheezy wasn't so sweet and innocent after all? That's what Redditor user The Circle of Knife believes. He or she theorizes that Wheezy was actually way shadier than he appeared. Dun dun dun. The film mentioned Wheezy had been up on the shelf for several months due to the broken squeaker, and thus received no playtime with Andy. Toys can be jealous of one another, the, Redditor, the Reddit user wrote, which could explain why Wheezy might have felt left out after having to watch the Woody and Buzz show starring Andy all the time. What's the point in prolonging the inevitable? We're all just one stitch away from here to there, Wheezy dramatically said while motioning to the yard sale outside. Notice how it was Woody who tried to hide Wheezy, not Wheezy himself. According to the Circle of Knife, Wheezy decided to take advantage of Woody's heroic nature knowing he would definitely try to save Wheezy and probably end up getting sold instead. This would have knocked Woody out of the picture and given Wheezy a better chance to get back into Andy's life. Circle of Knife points out how Wheezy should have placed his arms outside Buster's collar so he'd have a stronger hold, but he didn't. This forced heroic Woody to re-secure the penguin, which caused Woody to tumble off Buster. Notice how Wheezy didn't say anything when Woody fell. He just let Buster keep in, keep on a running. His euphoria at having Woody back made sense, since Woody clearly had no idea this whole ordeal was due to a squeaker-less penguin who was jealous AF. Wheezy went on to sing You Got a Friend in Me while everyone laughed and danced along. The Circle of Knife noticed, noted the song and dance mo moment could have been because Wheezy A felt a ton of guilt or B tried to cover up his actions with a quick musical number. As one does, I guess. We are on to you, Wheezy. So yeah, this was definitely an interesting, it's an interesting theory. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, it's kind of interesting to think that Wheezy could be a bad guy, and that you know, with all that was said, you know, that he could have technically saved himself, but he didn't, and he depended on Woody, which would get Woody out of the picture. But to be fair. When Wheezy, if I remember right, we, he was supposed to get a new squeaker. So Andy wanted to fix Wheezy, but it just never happened. And same with Woody, his arm got torn off and Andy wanted to fix him before a cowboy camp. But of course, you know, Andy's mom tried to convince him that will not all toys last. So I think Andy still did love Wheezy because... I mean, if Wheezy's out and about and he said he got his squeaker fixed, I don't see how he would really be the bad guy since the squeaker did get fixed and he brought him down from the shelf and everything was fine in the end. So that's just my opinion on it. I'd love to know your guys in the comment section down below. If I see enough of them that seem totally interesting, I will make a video about what you guys think on the subject and maybe touch on it a little more. But other than that, um, 
look out for my next fun facts video. It's going to be Davy Crockett Explorer Canoe Attraction. Ooh, fancy. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, let's get out there. Stay safe. Love you guys.